there guys, I'm the Royal Gorilla and welcome to Space Engineers. Something's kicking off, I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just trying to sneak into this ship. I'm pretty sure it's empty right now, but I'm going to blow it up. Why? Because I feel like it. Um, I can't actually see what's going on. I think it's a meteor storm or something. I have no idea. Oh look, there's something going on up there. Asteroids or something, I don't know. Where is the cockpit for this place? Here we go. Right, here's the uh, big old main place. I should have a warhead, I do, on number three. I'm sorry, this ship, I don't know what it's called. You have to name your ships. That's, I always think that's a very important thing. It's like a boat, isn't it? Right, there we go. So, in theory, I have no idea how to set these things off. Okay, here we go. Right, and uh, detonate. And uh, detonate. Okay, this isn't working. I'm just going to fire it until it does explode. I'm not quite sure what it's going to take. Come on. Come on now. You gotta you gotta explode for me? Doesn't look like you're gonna Oh! It disappeared. Does that mean it exploded? I really don't know. No, it it literally just disappeared. How on earth do these things explode? Okay, so I've had a new plan. I couldn't work out how to set them off, but in theory, if I do this, turn that off, and that ship should now go on its way. I really hope I actually hit it. That, no, no, that's, that's completely, oh no. Oh, god damn it. That's hit the completely wrong thing. Oh, oh god, it's caused damage as well. Okay, here we go. We're going to try this once more. This should hopefully work this time. We have our lineup already. Okay, we should probably jump out in a minute. I'm going to say just about here. There we go. Right. Oh, let's get off of that thing. That's going to explode. Oh god. Well, Meteor storm inbound. it didn't explode, but the music cue was pretty good. What does it take to make these things explode? They used to be so temperamental. Oh my god, I've just noticed you can actually just set them off yourself. Okay, start countdown. Oh god, oh god, right, 10 seconds, get away, get away, get away. That's probably a bad idea. We're currently in another meteorite storm, it looks like. I think we should be alright over here. I don't quite know how big that explosion is going to be. Oh, there we go. It actually exploded this time. Was, was that it? Are you kidding me? Oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. I thought that didn't really do any damage, but uh, no, nah, it just took off the front. Ah, okay. That was a lot of hassle for not much reward. Let's go look at something a bit cooler. So then you've probably noticed from the title of this video, I'm going to do some cashing in on the new Guardians film coming out. So today we have this absolute beauty to play with. This is a recreation of the Milano. It's from the Steam Workshop. It's one of the top rated ones, but I can't remember for the life of me who made it. And um, yeah, we kind of put a hole in it. I didn't really mean to do that. So I'm going to quickly repair this and then we'll have a bit of a fly. Well, that neatened it up quite a bit. We have got one pretty big hole going into the internal area, but we're going to just have to live with that. I'm more interested in making sure that we have all the engines we need because that is the most important thing for this place. What is not letting me build there? Is there a bit of damage there? I don't know. Something seems to be broken there. Oh, well, we'll just be one engine short. That looks okay. Apart from the big hole in the roof and the big hole there, we didn't do too much damage. Where did the actual ship end up? I have no idea. So as I've already said, this beauty, now repaired mostly, is the Milano. It's actually my favourite ship in pretty much anything, I think. I can't really think of a ship I prefer to this. This seems really big compared to what it should be in Guardians, but it kind of is just how this game has to work. I've added a few upgrades to the Workshop version. I added some cannons here because they're a bit more similar to what the actual Milano has. And I also added a shit ton more engines because this thing wasn't very maneuverable. Basically, it it kind of didn't stop. So that's something I have half solved. So apart from that big chunk of damage there, this thing is pretty damn awesome. And I think a piece of it might have fallen off as well. I guess we'll have to work that out later. But anyway, let us head inside and take a look at this beauty. So the doors are right here. Inside here, we have the cockpit. And it's got the free setup like it does in the movie. And this is kind of what I mean by it's massive compared to what it should be, but I really don't mind that. There's something really noisy back here. Is it this generator? It's gravity, isn't it? Yeah. This is a bit of a weird creation, actually, because this whole internal structure is actually a small ship. Hence why that bit is completely smashed. So, 
If we go down to the bottom here, this is all the internals, which is a very nice a little room here, probably Star Lords or something. And then if we come down into the basement area where we have all of the engine stuff, you can see that just over here, these are all little docking parts. Oh god, is it broken? Oh no, no, this side's still attached. Yeah, so this entire section is all docked onto the ship, and that's how they've done the interior with quite a lot of detail. But it does mean it's very noisy right now. I should probably go up and just check that we're okay. This thing does have its own turrets, so it should be able to deal with asteroids, but I'm still going to probably want to move it. Oh, I don't know if that sounded like something just hit us. I really hope it didn't. Let's have a, uh, have a quick look. No, no, we seem fine. I think the turrets on this thing are keeping us covered. Okay, let's actually, let's get flying this thing because you don't want to just look at it, do you? Let's get going. Of course, we're going to sit in Star-Lord's chair. Oh, here it is. Let's get a, a nice little look at it. This thing is actually beautiful. Look at it. I even love the color scheme and just the design. It's a bit different to the one in the film because the one in the film's got more of a kind of curved style to it. But this is pretty good and it's got some weird rotors, this. And I'm not sure what they do. You can see on the right hand side there's something spinning. And I think I did that by accident. Oh, I nearly crashed just then. That would have been bad. My upgrades I've done on this thing made it a lot better to control. It's a bit crazy on the whole... Um, oh, God. Something on the side just fell off. Yeah, this thing does have a tendency to fall apart. It's not exactly great. Right then, Captain. Uh, oh, wait. I'm on my own. Okay, let's uh, see if we've got any guns. Is that something... Yes, we do. We have missiles there. Let's shoot this other Milano. Not a bad idea, is it? So, we've got some uh, missile launchers, which are kind of our default, which it came with. And then I've added these cannons, which I'm going to warn you right now are very loud. <laughs> Told you. Oh, I do really enjoy just cruising around in this thing. I really, I'm in love with this ship. And you know what? I don't want to just do nothing in it. We could just fly this around for ages, but I don't think that's going to be... More fell off. Why did more fall off? I was trying to speak. Oh, anyway, as I was saying, we actually need something to do. So um, I've set up a little bit of a challenge for us. You might see just there, just in front of us. Well, it's not in front of us, it's below us. Wait, no, it's not because we're in space. Everything's below us. Just there. You can see it. In the distance, there is a ship. Many of you will recognize it. I decided to put two Disney franchises against each other. Star Wars and Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's see who wins. And uh, I kind of already know who it's going to be. This might be pretty painful. So this ship may be beautiful, but uh, when we get up to this place, it's probably not going to go very well for us. We've already ripped apart half the ship, and we haven't even done anything. That was just by flying. So, yeah, I'm not too confident about how well we're going to do here. I don't know whether I'm best in third person or first. Yep, definitely third. Okay, so uh, let's make sure our weapons are ready. Let's get the rocket launchers out. Okay, here's my tactic. I'm going to try and just slice the middle bit in half. If we even get that close, I will be very happy. Okay, here we go. Fire! Why are we not firing? What? Why are we not firing? We're, we're not firing. What's going on? Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Okay, so. Well. What happened there? Was uh, something we like to call a catastrophic failure. Oh god, they're just... Oh no, please stop destroying it. Oh, that's so mean. Can we, um... Can we save it in any way? You guys are just going to kill it, aren't you? Oh no. No, oh, it's on fire. No, please stop. Can I actually get on board? Let's actually get our menu up. That'll help us out a little bit. There we go. Right. There it is. There's our entrance. No, come back, come back. Yeah, something tells me I'm not going to rescue this. Well, I'm... Pretty sure I can't do anything to save it. I'm just going to have to let it drift off. Goodbye, you beautiful fuck. Oh my god, we went so far out, I didn't even realise. Okay, I need to get back. So where's the jetpack? There we go. Right, let's head back down here and we'll actually have a look at this big ship. Oh, is, it, is that just a piece of it there? I think so. Let's try and go a little bit closer. It's just going to be some debris. There's going to be debris everywhere. Oh, poor thing. Look at him over there. It's okay, you'll, um, I don't know, maybe you'll crash into a sun or something. Who knows? The life is ahead of you. Oh, you're deaf. You're kind of already dead. Let's just not talk about it anymore. So then, this beauty that absolutely destroyed us just now is the Nebulon B Frigate, I believe it's called. And there's a meteorite storm inbound. But uh, if that little fight we just had was anything to go by, we're over there now. Those meteorites don't stand a chance. Should we see if we can actually get inside this thing? I'm surprised we didn't even do any damage. I thought at least we might be able to sever the ship in two, but... I didn't think we dented it. Oh, look, just here. We might have. 
Oh, no, no, we didn't donate at all. That's just a hangar bay. Can we actually go inside here? No, doesn't look like it. Oh, oh my God, look at that. They were windows. It wasn't even a hangar bay. Right, let's find an entrance. Bloody hell, look at the detail they've gone into on the back of this. That's seriously impressive. Oh, and looky here, I think I found a... That's not a door. Okay, this might be impressive and all, but uh, I think I found a fault with it. There's no bloody entrances. This might be one. This looks like a big door. Can I open you up? No. God damn it. <gasps> Is that a door? Oh, I think I found a door in the most random bloody place ever. Oh, there we go. Right, let's get inside this baby. Right, jetpack off. Close the doors. This looks like some kind of airlock. Can I go through? Oh, here we are. Right, we're in the belly of the beast. I have no idea where I am. Whoa, Jesus, this looks like the command center. I just kind of found that by chance. How is this the first place I stumbled into? Huh, right, where is... Ah, here we go, this is what I was looking for. The command chair. Wow, this, this thing is really big. This might just kill my game if I try to move it. Uh, okay, let's try and move. Oh, you know what? Oh, that's not too bad at all. Let's actually go a little bit closer to that little station down there where we started. Let's see if we can. I don't even know if it's moving. I don't even know where the engines are. How does this thing work? Whoa, this thing literally sounds like a titan. I'm going to get out of it now because I'm going to end up smashing it into something. This is seriously cool. I don't have a clue how people do this kind of thing. Like the Milano blew me away, but this, this is just something else. Okay, this place is literally a maze. I have no idea where I'm going, and every single place I go seems to be a dead end, which is bloody brilliant. Wow, so what's going on? I had a little, uh, a little think, and the best way to deal with this was to kind of make my own entrances, so if this meteorite doesn't do it, uh, that should do the job for me. I don't know how long it's got left on the timer. I'm just going to stay back, just in case. Oh, there it goes. Okay. It's still there. Got to wait for it to load. I don't know how... Oh! Ah! There's a little more damage than I was expecting. So what I was expecting to happen was I thought I was up here. I wanted to walk along that big bit there, so I was actually nowhere near. So where is the cockpit? It must be over here somewhere. Yeah, it is. So I thought, oh, I'm actually so lost right now. Right, let's try and get into one of these higher levels. That seems like a good idea. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. Oh, there it goes. Well, that's one way inside. Oh, do you know what? That might have destroyed some of the turrets. We might have a bit more of a chance now. Oh, here's all the engines. This explains a lot. This explains an awful lot. Okay, let's try and find our way into that little bit. It doesn't look like you can actually get into this area. But down here, this is where we wanted to be. How on earth are you meant to get here? There's another little cockpit area there. Or like some kind of office. I have no idea. Let's head down here. Oh, Jesus. Right. No. Oh, God. Oh, God. I destroyed the gravity. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've totally broken this place. That's great. Oh, here we go. This is what I was looking for. This is that really long chamber, so we should have the windows around here too. How am I supposed to look out the windows if it's closed? That was me that did that. There we go. Very nice. What's down the middle bit? Oh, there's so many little places to go in this place. It's massive. And I have no idea what this is. Oh my god, there was an entrance here all along. Ah, oh, well, that was a, a very big ship. I don't even know what's in that section, but uh, why don't we blow it up to have a look? Oh no, I just spawned this in and it's already being attacked. Um, okay, that wasn't a good idea. Let's go a bit further away and do that again. Yeah, um, that's two of them we've now destroyed. Oh no, wait, three. We shot one earlier. It's not doing well for the Milano today, is it? Oh god, they're really pounding that. Although that does confirm that their guns are still working, even though we did destroy the gravity. Which is not good. We're going to have to try very hard to not get ourselves absolutely murdered. But on the bright side, we have a fresh new Milano. And we're going to head inside and make sure all the guns are working. These are those auto cannons, which are very, very loud. And then the uh, rocket launchers down below. So if we quickly head inside, you'll see that because I've copy and pasted this, that inner bit has now gone because that counted as a separate ship. So we don't have that little interior anymore, but we do have everything that we need to make this place work. So let's switch to there. We should have guns. We do have guns. Perfect. We're just going to aim for this bottom section and try and kick its ass, basically. Let's see how well this goes. I've got to start firing from here. This is going to go very badly for us, I can already tell. Come on then, Milano. They're distracted with the other one, so we should be pretty good at taking this out. But, oh my god, those... Yeah, they're very loud. I'm going to stop using them. Let's stick with the rockets. Probably our best bet right now. 
I'm hoping that maybe if we stay below where the rockets are, we might be a bit better off. Oh, no, wait. They're all around it. Okay. Oh, duck, duck, duck. No, no. We don't want to hit it. Oh, God. That, that was a really stupid idea. Oh, oh, we've been penetrated. This isn't good. Although, oh, 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 yeah. This is, this is really, really not good. Although, look at me right there. Can you, can you see me? I'm just sat on the edge of oblivion, literally. Can we get out of here? Oh, she's still working. Ah. Okay, not working anymore. Although, come on, let me in, let me in, let me in. Oh no, it's broken. Can I repair you? Is that a thing I can do? Oh, yes, right, go. Go, Milano, let's get out of here. We will survive to fight another day. Let's keep going. Are we actually still moving? We have, um... I think the main word for it is obtained heavy damage. Uh, are they still shooting at us? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, looks like it. Oh, oh yeah, missile right there. Oh, please stop shooting at me gonna take out all of my engines this is really not good come on no please stop firing I can't even dodge them they're so like damaging right is that it are we done do you know what I think we might have escaped yes we literally have half a ship left but we're alive technically oh god there's no gravity either yeah I don't know really why I expected there to be although this is the gravity generator so we should be able to repair that and now, is it fully repaired? There we go. Do we have gravity? We do. Look at that. Okay, let's uh, let's assess the damage. Do you know what? I think it's a write-off. Okay, my poor ship. We're going on one final assault. This is probably going to be your death, but uh, you kind of have to go out in style. We're going to just plow into it again. See if we can actually make it all the way. This is either going to go perfectly or just fail, as it always has done before. I'm going to guess it's going to fail. Right, let's keep going. Oh, let's, are there two Milanos here? What the hell? Oh, no, no, that's my other half, I think. Okay, we're going to make it. Come on, we can do this. Oh, we actually... Oh, my God, we made contact. I'm inside. Oh, my God. The most successful attack was literally with half a ship. Probably a smaller target or something. Makes sense. So let's look at a quick little damage report. So we did this little gash here. A little bit of damage over there, and uh, that's about it. I think we might have done this, but I'm not sure if that was this time. Let's uh, let's take a quick look at the Milano, see what's left of it. Uh, you're probably not going to be too surprised by this, are you? Yeah, this is this is the ship. Um, have we still got a cockpit? No, no, we haven't. We had just a couple of engines, and it's floating off into space. Goodbye, Milano. Okay now guys, listen up. I have come up with an ingenious idea how to get past this space station. Not quite sure where I'm going in this place. Ah, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Basically, I've had an idea that I think will get us past all of its defenses and uh yeah, this is this is basically it. The Millennium Falcon. I'm hoping that maybe they'll think we're on the same team or something. Yeah, that's real wishful thinking, isn't it? All right then. There's one of the burning Milano carcasses. Let's ignore that for now. There's our destination. At least in this ship, we can actually see what we're doing in first person. Let's have a quick look in third. This actually looks pretty damn cool. 12 seconds later. Oh, no, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. This has gone badly already. Okay, let's just try and get past it, and then we'll take another swoop from the other side like we did before. Yeah, they've just attacked us straight away. That didn't work at all. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's have a look, quick look at the damage. Oh, do you know what? This thing seems a lot tougher than the Milano. We didn't take hardly as much there. Although I'm not sure we even have any weapons on this. Do you know what? For a little flyby on that station, we really didn't take much damage. And Milano is just really weak, I think. Maybe it's not as strong as I thought. Okay, so do you want the good news or the bad news? Wait, no, it's all bad news. We have no guns. So our only real option is to just plow into it, which is kind of what we've been doing anyway, but... You know, I was kind of hoping we wouldn't have to do it with the Millennium Falcon, although this is a lot stronger, so we might be able to actually just punch straight through the center of it. And if we do that, I'm going to be one happy boy. Oh, damn it. This looks so damn cool. The sun, the spaceship, everything coming together for this one final assault. Let's see how well this goes. I think we're lined up pretty damn close. I'm not sure what the best course of action here to do. I'm just going to keep heading straight for it. Inertial dampeners off. I don't even have to turn the engines on anymore. Oh, we're under quite a lot of attack. Okay, go on. Oh no. Okay, 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 there we go. Okay, that... Oh, yeah, yeah, I've just been ejected into space. It worked. Guys, it actually worked. We destroyed our cockpit and half of the Falcon, but we've turned one ship into two. And now they're drifting off from each other. 
I guess that counts as destroying it. His name is Luke and he's more than your average gamer. No ordinary let's player. No but Easter eggs much better. Da 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 da. His name is Luke, aka the Roy Gorilla. Even bigger than the giant Godzilla. Follow him in every game he goes. Da da da.